we can get this fixed. How is that? That's better. There we go. <laughs> All right. So what is up, everybody? TZ here with Smoky Mountain Knife Works. We're going to take two on this one. Now, hopefully you can hear me. What's going on is we've got some new products here. Um, we're going to show you all these new products. We're also going to be chatting in the comments with you. Um, we're going to be answering your questions. We've got some new EDC items, um, and we got some new products that are going to be coming to the store, all kinds of really cool stuff. Um, and we're just going to be chatting with you guys, giving you kind of a, a preview of what's to come on the channel and some new content. So how's it going, sir? I actually ordered a knife from SP and KW and I'm trying to figure out how to track my order. It said I have link to press once it's shipped but i haven't received a link okay well in that case we will get on that um we're gonna check into that if you will send us a message a private message not in the comments um with your information and we can track that down for you and uh, get that figured out for you absolutely happy to help that's what we're here for anytime you guys have a question about that any kind of shipping issues um, you can send our, you can send an email to uh, help at snkw.com, or you can message us privately. Um, and like I said, do it in the messages, uh, do it in the DMs. Don't do it in the comments, because that, y then you're just putting your information out there. But um, private message us, and uh, we can get you guys um, taken care of. So, <laughs> yes, I am. Hope. <laughs> Good to see you again. Absolutely. So. Um, we've got a bunch of new stuff to go over now. Without further ado, let's light it up. All right, folks. So, um, like I said, we've got some really cool stuff. We've got some new knives coming out. I'm going to give you a preview of some new content coming up. Um, how's everybody doing out there? We're having a blast. Uh, you know, just keeping on, keeping on. We've got new products coming in all the time. Um, actually just checked in on a really cool new product that's coming up, Jack Wolf Knives. We're going to have those in stock. Those are going to be released, the, uh, um, the Sharpshooter, Jack Wolf Knives. We've got all four, I think it is, or five, four or five of them. Um, is it five? Yes. Um, so four of them in micarta, uh, one of them in carbon fiber. They're slip joints, gun stock pattern. They're called the sharpshooter, and they are beautiful, absolutely sexy. And we have got them in. I don't have them in my hands just yet. They're at our warehouse right now. We just checked on them. We're having those sent over, so we're going to be doing some content on those, getting those ready to put out because those are going live on the 15th. Those will be available. So stay tuned for that. If everything goes to plan, yes. Greg, you said you had a question for me, a question of the day. Greg has the question of the day. I am, I am. You have kids. I have a child, yes. I have kids. Yes. Are you familiar with Uncrustables? Yes, I am familiar with Uncrustables. Is an Uncrustable a sandwich or a ravioli? I would have to say a sandwich still. Yeah, it, I mean, it, it has the properties of ravioli, kind of, but no pasta. You have to have pasta. Pasta is nothing more than flour and eggs. How do you make bread? Flour, eggs. And ravioli, clothes. Internet, back me up. That's a, that's a good ravioli. question. It's a ravioli. I don't think it's ravioli. I think it's a sandwich. So you guys let us know in the comments. Do you think Uncrustables are ravioli or are they a sandwich? Or is it a uh, Ravi Amwich? <laughs> awesome. Thank you for picking up that Knives G.I. Joe shirt. An American tradition. It absolutely is. Um, so uh, we've got Sandwich for sure on uh, Golden State EDC. Yeah. Still a sandwich, Mad Max. Thank you. Sandwich. Wizzy baby. Yeah. Sandwich, Blankman. Thank you. I don't think it matters. They're delicious. <laughs> so, um, for those of you that are on uh, YouTube and Facebook, we are also live on Instagram right over here. So, if you see me looking over there, that's what I'm doing there. 
Um, so we are also live on Instagram. We can't do them all together, so we've got a separate platform right here where we're talking to everybody on a, a naked sandwich. All right, there we go. So let's dive right in and start going over some new stuff to the store. Um, first of all, uh, now, while we were down at our Bushcraft Weekend, and you've seen some of the content that we've got coming out from that Bushcraft Weekend at Georgia Bushcraft. Um, and uh, so what's up, Big Red? Thank you for joining us. Yeah, JB. If you haven't checked out JB, Big Red EDC, check out his channel. He's putting out amazing content. Just did a video on uh, our Triple R series. And uh, it is fabulous. Um, yeah, so this is Greg's bag that he won in the raffle there. And uh, got all the patches from the weekend there. Got the little monkey board on the side. Nice. Got the Griffin pocket tool there and the flashlight. So, um, yeah, I'm good grief, Greg. So, uh, we talked with the guys um, with Woods Monkey. And this is a brand um, that uh, LT Ride is working on. And... We are thoroughly impressed. They're sending us some samples um, as we speak, and we are super stoked. We've actually got some of their products here. Now, this is one of the things they do. They do Kydex monkey boards, and they do different sizes. This is the one that I set up myself. We're going to be going over these more in depth, um, but this is the first one. This is one of the ones that I won, and this is kind of my survival board, um, how I've made it up. I've got a few changes that I want to make to it, but not many. I'm going to add my Leatherman signal to it. Um, but outside of that, it's pretty much going to stay just like it is. I've got some red-eyed hog on there. I've got my foraging um, scarf right there. Um, I've, got, uh, I've got my knife sharpener right there. I've also got my Griffin pocket tool pry bar right there. I've got my Raptor response tool right there. Um, I've got my knife tool right there. I've got a pen. I've got a whistle. I've also got a light. Don't want to blind you guys, but yeah, nice little light there. Got my knife sharpener uh, from WorkSharp. So uh, that is my survival board that I made up uh, with that with those monkey boards. And we're going to be showing those more in depth very, very soon. I've also got a battery board that I made up. So this is all of my external batteries that I've got, um, and I've got them strapped to this one board. And these things come in handy really in a lot of different ways. So they are Molly compatible. On the sides here, they slip onto any sort of molly webbing, um, but they're also really good for going inside a bag. I keep these in my work bag, and it's a great way to keep things organized in my bag, and I absolutely love that. No. Yes. Maybe. I don't know. Testing, testing, one, two. There we go. All right. So um, those monkey boards, we're going to be doing a lot more with those uh, coming up very soon. Um, and uh, that's going to be uh, a really, really cool product that we're going to be featuring, as well as uh, s we're going to be uh, looking at some friction folders that they've got that they're making as well that are really, really cool, really adaptable. <laughs> we're really stoked about looking at those. Um, and also, on that note, stay tuned for more of our content that's coming out from that Bushcraft weekend uh, down at Georgia Bushcraft uh, and um, our Campfire Co-op weekend with the guys from SE. Uh, we got a bunch more interviews coming out. You've already seen the ones with Joe Flowers, Taylor Martin, and with Craig Caudill. And, the uh, Craig one was awesome today. Yeah, it's getting really good responses. Yeah. Uh, great responses. Thank you folks out there. Um, talking about Craig Caudill, EDC throughout history. Um, great little EDC history in, uh, lesson right there. Really enjoyed that. It was a lot of fun. And we've got more stuff coming out with the guys from Wazoo, with LT Wright, with Shane and Patrick from uh, SE Knives. So tons more content. Also with the uh, contestants that we met from the TV show alone, too. So check those out as they come out. They're going to be coming out over the next couple of weeks. And we've also got more content that we've been working on here in the studio as well. We're continuing on with our Blade Steel series. Mm -hmm. um, you're going to see we're going to be talking about <coughs> A2 coming up very soon. We're going to be talking about ADCRV2 coming up very soon as well how they uh, originated, um, what they're used in, and why they're used, what makes them good for blade steels. Also coming up, um, we're going to be doing, uh, we're going to be continuing our Top Knives series. So we're going through all of our major brands, doing Top Knives from those brands. How many in each coming one? Coming up very soon. Uh, look, Greg, do, 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 do,
I have a hard time keeping it at five. I try to keep it at five, but I don't always succeed at that. So I'm I just saying I, I was not five. here to help you. I was not uh, here to help count. It's not my fault. I filmed Top Kershaw knives, and there ended up being nine knives in the video. Um, and uh, it, it's just tough. It's tough. It really is. Um, so Top Kershaw Knives is coming out very soon. Also, we've got scheduled next week. Blank man, we're not ignoring you. We're going to be getting uh, new knives, uh, actually some samples in from Kershaw, and we're going to be doing a uh, Zoom call with the guys from Kershaw going over their 2022 mid-year releases, and we're super excited about that. So that's going to be coming up very soon as well. Those are dropping in May. So stay tuned for those. We've got a question from uh, IG for you, boss. Week. So what, what do we got? A question IG. Uh, Ra wants to know what's your favorite sticker on the wall behind you. My favorite sticker on the wall behind me. Let me take a look. Hang on. See, that's a tough one because um, we got so many great ones. Hope, I've told you before, if you want to email me any and all old pictures you have of TC back when he had short hair, clean do face, it. other things like that, we can talk. I can get discounts. I, I can be bribed with food. Maybe you can. We can, we can trade some so, things around here. So as far as my favorite, uh, my favorite stickers, um, man, it's really it's really tough to choose. Uh, I love the quality of that one Georgia Bushcraft sticker right there. It's like the multicolor. Mm. It's a good good quality sticker right there. Um, <laughs> Uh, KC, KC says nice fast sticker. That's what his suggestion is. <laughs> also, they on IG are requesting that you move the camera. They're, they're not liking this uh, positioning today. Well, so the camera is in a position that we kind of have to put it in. Otherwise, it's in the way of other cameras. Ooh, views, women so. carry knives suggest the women carry knives one. That, that's also a good one as well. I also love knife chats with Tobias. Tobias Gibson's uh, with his cat. I love that one as well. Um, so it, it's it's tough to say. It's really. I also love Jessica Taylor's. I love her pinup art. I think she does a great job. Um, and we and we do have some more stickers we need to put up sometime this week. Yes, we do have some more stickers. Greg's been on me about that. So that's where we're at on that. Um, also, we've got some new products here, and I kind of want to get into these. We're not going to you know go into huge detail about these, um, but we do want to show off some new stuff that we got in. Um, First and foremost, we got in a bunch of new Kaisers, and uh, super stoked about those, uh, especially at the price point that these are at. Um, first up, loving this one. This one's called the Quatch, and uh, really, really digging that knife right there. Um, now, cool cleaver blade right there on that one, N690 on the blade steel. My car to handles on this one um, with the copper backspacer. Now, uh, We've also got one in with a brass backspacer, and it's got red G10 handles, um, looking really Iron Man. I'm going to show Facebook and YouTube this one up close right here. And uh, that's just a really cool knife coming in at $69 for both of those, for the G10 version and the Micarta version. The Micarta version has a uh, satin finish blade. This one's got the uh, black stone wash finish blade right there. Um, so really digging that. Really great deal for good blade steel, good quality. Uh, it's a flipper, and it's also got the thumb hole. So, hey, Zach Stuff is here flip. with us. What's happening, Zach Stuff? Absolutely, man. Do something kind for someone. Love it. Yes, I got that on my bag. Yes. So, also from Kaiser, we got in the new Mini Bay, and these things are super, super cute. Uh, Liz and Azo design, right there. And uh, let's see what you guys think about that. What, what do you think that reminds you of, especially knowing that its name is the Mini Bay? Uh, let's see how many of you are uh, animated movie fans. Um, that's one of my favorite movies, having a six-year-old daughter. I absolutely love the movie. Um, but we've got two different versions. So looking real Baymax there. Um, the Mini Bay right there from Kaiser. Now, these are both coming in with S35VN blade steel. G10 on the handles. Uh, you got the one with and without the Baymax armor. Um, really digging these things. And these are double detent slip joints. So, double detent slip joints. Wizzy Baby, got you got it. You nailed it. Big Hero 6. Um, so, double detent slip joints coming in with S35VN blade steel. 
Um, and we're going to show those to uh, Facebook and YouTube up close as well right there. Really, really cool little knives. 69 bucks. S35, CPM S35 VN blade steel. Um, I think that's a phenomenal deal. Uh, now, the the black and white one is coming in uh, with the uh, black liners as well. Um, the one with the red is coming in with the stainless liners. So, got any questions, comments, concerns? They want to know what is the most expensive knife you've bought for yourself. The should most we, now, before you answer this, should we wait for Liz to come in? Because we do have his fiance coming in, folks, yes, to go over his. Come in and uh, going to go through not not my entire collection because oh. that would take way too long. But um, so let me let me feel this one first. Uh, most expensive knife that I've bought for myself would have to be my. It's a it, it's close. I don't remember which one. I got one Microtech Exoset, the Bounty Hunter, and then I also got my um, Medford Smooth Criminal Manual Flipper. Um, so those two would be my most <coughs> expensive um, knives that I've actually bought for myself. Carly Fa uh, Fairchild's in with us. So hi, Carly. What's happening, Carly? Thank you for joining yeah. us. All Vol 21's with us, Ramon556. So five five and Island Style has been trying to reach you about your car's extended warranty. <laughs> Island style. You crack me up. Um, so, Carly, thank you for joining us. Uh, folks, stay <coughs> tuned because that is going to be a vi video that's coming out very soon from our Bushcraft Weekend. Uh, we got a chance to sit down and talk to Carly Fairchild from the TV show alone, uh, talk about her journey through that TV show. Um, absolutely amazing story. You guys need to stay tuned. I don't want to give any of it away, but Carly, you are absolutely awesome. Thank you. Quick thing um, from Luke. Luke, the re, uh, Rio Dexo Gravities, they are on restock. We do not have a firm ETA at this time. Yes. And stop by the store. We always do have specials going on in store, things we can't talk about on air because then they wouldn't be in store specials. Exactly. So exactly. we do have online specials. We have in store specials. Stop by and see us if you can. Um, now, another new product that we've got here that we want to talk about is, um, and this one, I, I've been really stoked. This one's brand new to our store. And uh, ever since we got it in, I've been really fawning over this thing. It is a new Marbles Lockback traditional folder. And I, hold on, hold on. I'm going to put this in the microphone right here. I'm going to do it for YouTube and Facebook, and then I'm going to put it up close to the phone for Instagram. That is so satisfying. That is absolutely satisfying. Listen to this. Um, so just a Mountain Dude just dropped in with us. Marbles, MR585 Lockback, uh, 440 on the blade steel, um, Micarta handles, and the action is phenomenal. Tell them the price. The price is amazing. Torque screws. So it's really easy to take this thing apart and do maintenance on it. So it's not like a traditional lockback in that it's not put together with pins. It's put together with torque screws. So you can actually take this thing apart and clean it. I think that's really cool. It also comes with this heavy-duty nylon sheath right here as well. So a nice heavy-duty nylon belt sheath. KC, thanks for stopping by with us. You have a good day. Yes, Don't work too hard. absolutely, KC. Thank you, dude. And, um, folks, that's another one. If you haven't checked out his channel, go by and see Knives Fast. Check out his reviews. They are phenomenal. He does an incredible job. Uh, love him and his family. Awesome people right there. So check out his channel. His boy's and, got a birthday uh, coming up. So happy birthday, little Casey. As well. um, Terry, so quick, real quick. Terry, we do have parking for everybody. We got a brand new parking lot right behind the store. So any oversized trucks, feel free to park behind the store. Yep. So price on this marbles, nineteen ninety nine. Nineteen ninety nine on that lock back right there. That's a phenomenal deal. I don't, I don't care who you are right there. Um, that is a great deal on a nice heavy-duty lockback right there from Marbles. Um, really digging that thing. Uh, blade centering is great. That thing's absolutely beautiful. So that's got, another one of our new products. And I've we've got, got a ton of new products. Yeah, i so, got the brass version of that. Um, yes, Greg does have the brass version. We featured it not too long ago. Um, also, where that's concerned, and, and we've been talking about these new items Go onto our website and check out our new arrivals page. It is constantly updating because it, it we are constantly updating and getting new products in. So 
always check out the new arrivals page. Sometimes you'll actually see stuff before we do. <laughs> that's, the, that's just the way it works. Um, so that's, uh, that's some of the new stuff. Now, we've got another new knife that's really cool, and I think people are really going to enjoy seeing this one. Um, th this, is, this is huge. This actually, so this sheath actually reminds me of the principal's paddle. That in, is uh, totally where school. I went with that. That you just brought up some school very principal's paddle. That's that's what that reminds me of. Don't that was some lost me me memories. Yeah. Oh, mm. don't ask me how I know that. Um, but this is a really cool new knife from Bark River right here. This one's called the uh, Edwin Forrest Bowie. And uh, take a look. That that's not a knife. That's a knife. That's a knife right Every there. Every time. Yeah. So uh, this thing is is absolutely awesome. Now, the cool story about this one from Bark River, um, first off, it's in A2. So that's another video that you're going to be seeing coming up soon. Like I said before, we're going to be talking about A2 tool steel. And um, the cool story behind this one and this design uh, is this is thought to be the closest representation of the original Bowie knife from Jim Bowie himself. It was given to Edward Forrest and uh, Edwin Forrest, excuse me. There we go. Um, it was given to Edwin Forrest, and uh, this is the uh, supposedly the closest, most accurate representation of that original Bowie knife right there. And uh, I think that's really cool. And, it and it I was agree given. With what somebody said just a second ago on Instagram. It's a sword. <laughs> it's a sword. Yeah. Uh, it was given to him to use in stage plays yep. about Jim Bowie. That way he could continue on telling doing the things, story, yeah. telling the story. Um, so this one right here is coming in. I think two eighty, two ninety something. Uh, two ninety-eight, two ninety-two. They start at two eighty-four. Starting at two eighty-four and going up to around three hundred three, depending Before on. There, there's different handle materials, and I'm going to show that up close uh, to Instagram first, um, right there. So really cool micarta, micarta handles. This one's two ninety two ninety nine, um, and now I'm going to show it up close for uh, hmm. Facebook and YouTube right there. Hope I'll have to check that after the live. So this one's coming in at two ninety two ninety nine. They they vary in price based on the handle material and and how easy that material is to get a hold of. Um, and then they go up to like 303, 308, somewhere in there. Um, so really, really cool knife. And a little piece of history there with that knife as well. So um, really digging that thing. Um, just, a, yeah, just a massive knife that we absolutely love. So any questions, comments, concerns? What do we got out there? Uh, double check your uh, connection to IG because it just had an update. So... Gotta love that. Looks like we're still live. Okay, as long as you're live. Yeah. Um, so, also, uh, another thing that we're going to be doing uh, a little bit more of, and, and one question that I get asked all the time, and, and we're going to go over this today a little bit too, um, is EDC items, things that we carry every day, um, even beyond knives, because uh, we carry a lot of that stuff here in the store. Um, things like, so... You'll see here my keychain with my key fob on it. Um, this is my primary keychain. I've also got my key bar that has all my important keys on it, but this is just my key fob for my car. Uh, it's got my small um, I1R2 EOS flashlight from Olight. Uh, it's also got my Griffin pocket tool, adventure tool right there, um, because I think you should always have a pry bar on you and never use your knife as a pry bar. Rocky Top Customs has got a great question. If something is available online, will it be available in store? Um, most of the time, yes. Uh, now, there are chances, and this is a great opportunity to answer this question. Uh, most of the time, yes. If it's available online, it's going to be available in store. However, there are instances where we do sell out in the store but we still have them in stock online. And the way that works is we've actually got an off-site warehouse as well um, that's about 15 minutes away. So there are times when, you know, we have a run on things here in the store and people just buy a ton of them up in person. And so maybe we sell out in the store, but we still have them available online because we've got more at the warehouse. Um, Switch cameras on so YouTube. 
uh, oh, yeah, sorry. Whoops. Sorry about that. Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. So, yeah, that's um, that's one thing that uh, can come up uh, occasionally, but um, not a not a common thing there. Uh, so to answer your question, yes, if it's available online, <laughs> it should <laughs> normally be available <laughs> in store. Um, now, as far as other EDC items, <coughs> uh, I get asked all the time what's in my pocket. I'm going to go ahead and do a pocket dump for you guys right here, right now. Um, really digging this. Uh, this has been one of my favorite EDCs lately, uh, the last week, week and a half, and that's going to be my uh, Honey Badger in D2. Um, this is the medium D2 drop point. Black uh, black handles right there. Um, and really love, I mean, Honey Badger's action is just phenomenal. And, I mean, Honey Badger don't care. This thing will cut through <laughs> anything. It really don't care. And uh, really love Honey Badger for, uh, I mean, just a phenomenal all-around EDC knife. And I've told you guys several times, I don't mind carrying something that's not stainless. Um, I love D2 knives. I have always loved D2 as a blade steel. Um, when I'm working with horses and stuff, I carry my queen with equestrian tool with D2 uh, all the time. And as you know, that can be a very tough environment working with, with horses. I mean, y you're dealing in stalls with um, poop, hmm. pee everywhere. So something that can be very uh, a very harsh environment for blade steel. Dumpster fires. Uh, um, dumpster fires. Yes, that happens as well. Um, no further comment on that one. Uh, anyways, um, choices were made. To go, um, along, to go along with not only Honey Badger, but, but other things that we have in store, uh, Tim B. and K.J. Pearson have brought up some of our new exclusive Vitronoxes. So we'll talk yes. about those in a minute. And uh, so, well, we'll go ahead and jump off on that. I'll give some more of my pocket dump here in just a minute. But really digging that Honey Badger. If you guys uh, haven't had a chance to check out um, Honey Badger, definitely do we've <coughs> also got the brand new tontos in as well those are available so check those out um, they're available and up uh, online just go to our honey badger honey badger page um, and give those guys some love we're going to be featuring them and uh, and some new content as well and talking a little bit more about the history of that company coming up very soon so island um, style says that his bachelor pad is considered a uh, and i quote Where's it at here? A harsh, a harsh environment. environment. Yeah, I don't doubt that at all, Island Style. Just just judging by your comments. Mm -hmm. Well, I believe he's <laughs> I believe he's going to be ordering the new Gerber Balasong too. I, I saw oh, him yeah. comment I, on that. That is not a Balasong, Greg. Jeez. Island Style. Your microphone. If you keep saying stuff like that. Island Style said it was. Um, so you guys responded very favorably to our Gerber Double Down video, and I, I really dig that thing. That thing's really cool. It's a lot of fun. Um, just a cool look at thing. I, I mean, just absolutely awesome. So in the realm of Victorinox, and we're going to be showing you guys, we are right now remodeling that section of our store. So we're going to have to uh, show you guys that very soon. We're going to be showing you our new Victorinox department as soon as it's done. Um, and it's going to be really cool. But we do have a bunch uh, of new exclusives. And we them. do have a ton of new exclusives from Victorinox. We got the, we got Check the them out. We got the we got the two Easters in there with the butterfly and the chicks. Um, Bacon. We've also got. Uh, I think we've still got some of the. Uh, the bacon. Yeah, the bacon. The shark. Shark. And corgi. And corgi. Yes, we've got those. So all of those are exclusive uh, classic SDs and tinkers. Check those out. Um, really, really cool knives, uh, and I know a lot of people out there that are collecting those things. While I do myself. I while we're them. on Victorinox, uh, Wizzy Baby eighty nine asks, "What's your Victor uh, favorite Victorinox model or my models?" Favorite, my favorite, personally, is Huntsman. That is my favorite overall Victorinox model. Um, now there are people that are, will argue that that's a little bit too big. There are people that will argue that the corkscrew is not useful. Um, as an EDC item, I disagree um, for a lot of different reasons. Because, one, I found myself using my Huntsman uh, on vacation one time. Uh, I had bought a bottle of wine and got back to my hotel and needed a way to open it because I didn't have a bottle opener. I, I mean, I didn't have a corkscrew. Oh, but I did. It was on my Victorinox. Uh, so, you know, Absolutely. <laughs> I think, I think uh, KJ says uh, I'm going to knife shame you Huntsman is terrible No one needs the corkscrew 
<laughs> what is it? The five eighty five that's got the fingernail clippers. Yeah, that's a great one as well. I, I use that one all the time yeah. when I go fishing. That's what I use to clip the line, uh, the lines off the end, the yep. extra. Um, with the kids, also, with the kids in the boat, don't have to worry about stabbing them. Also, the corkscrew comes in handy um, as a wilderness tool, um, and that might be a series we need to do. Uh, but I've used the corkscrew to make, uh, to get started making cups, to get started making spoons. Thanks for stopping by, um, Mike. We appreciate it, you today. It absolutely, it absolutely works really well. So, I view the corkscrew as a useful tool. Also. And if you head on over to um, Taylor Martin's Best Damn EDC, uh, we got a chance to look at some of the items that uh, he uses in his Victoria Knox. Really and nice guy. I'm, yeah, I'm going awesome to put him dude. in the top. I'm going to put him in the top ten nicest guys in knife yeah. now. So we got to get him. Lt. Right. Joe Flowers is now in my top yep. ten of knife guys of all time. Maury Ford. Maury Ford. But yep. we, need, we need to have a nice off. A nice off. Nice off. Knife off. Yes. So, um, and. What he did with his, and he showed a review of this product, but there's a fire starter that actually threads into the um, the corkscrew along with tinder tabs, and I think that's a great idea. So check that out. I mean, it works great as a storage compartment, if nothing else. So for that reason, I love the Huntsman. Also has the saw on it. It has everything you could possibly need or want, and still in a fairly compact package. So that's why I choose the Huntsman. That's me. Um, Wizzy Baby, uh, we are working on that. Absolutely. Yes. Uh, we are trying to get that planned out um, and and get that taken care of. We are trying to plan out a possible road trip so that we can go to a lot of different manufacturers and see them. So we're going to be seeing about that very soon. Um, continuing on with uh, my EDC, uh, and one of the things that we've shown on the channel before, but we it's been a while, um, is and this is my most used tool right here is my Leatherman Free P4. Can you um, take apart a Russian tank with that? <laughs> yes, you absolutely can. That was proven on Instagram about a week and a half ago, two weeks ago. You can take apart a Russian tank with a Leatherman tool. Um, so, no further comment on that. <laughs> um, but this is my uh, my most used tool right here. Now I have modified it a little bit. Um, Thanks, Chuck. And uh, I've actually got it to where I can use, and it took some modifying. It's not going to come f from any, you know, it's not going to come from Leatherman um, able to use the uh, the ratchet tool, um, but I've actually modified mine to where I can use um, the ratchet driver, and I've also got a set of bits with me um, that I keep with mine. Make sure and it's on the IG too. This thing is phenomenal. Uh, absolutely love this thing. Like I said, I have modified it. Um, through some manufacturers on Etsy so that I can use it with that. I've also got my bits in Thrifty, my pouch. Thrifty Knifty have stopped in with us. What's happening, Thrifty Kniffy? Um, so this is my most used tool right here. And uh, if you saw my video last year, we, we talked about me swapping over um, from the old tool that I had carried. And I still have that tool, um, but I swapped over from that one to this one. And I literally use it every day. Um, absolutely love it. Uh, can't recommend it enough. Um, also carrying on me, I've got my Olight Baton 3. Um, this is the Thanks for stopping model. in, Christine. We appreciate you anytime you can stop in. Love that one. Thank you, Christine. Women Carry Knives. If you haven't checked out her content, folks, definitely head over to Women Carry Knives. Um, phenomenal content from Christine over there. Phil, I got you. And Phil's EDC. We got a sticker going up on the wall. Let's go ahead and put it up there now. I'll put Phil's up there now. Yeah. We've been we've been wanting to do that, but we've been wanting to do it on video, and so we've been in and out of the studio and. Canadian Phil. Yeah, I love it. Look at that maple leaf up there. That's beautiful. We have others, but not right now. We do have others, and they're going to be going up on the wall very, very, very soon. Um, on IG, if you could scroll back, all of all had a question on an SE for you, but mine is restarting back and forth. Yes. You know, honestly, I don't have any experience with the tertiary. Um, and that might be something we have to do. That's a... That would be a good grounding knife. That's a good... 
Mike, while I've got him, uh, Mike Curtis, the fires, they're doing much better. They have them yes. contained in many, many places. Yes. We, um, did, uh, we got rain a couple of times, so those have been contained. More rain coming in tonight with dropping t- yeah. temperatures as well. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's yeah. Thank you to all the firefighters, responders that came in from all the neighboring states, counties, Absolutely. everything. We appreciate all of y'all. Um, also in my EDC today is going to be my GEC Urban Jack. Um, so I always carry a slip joint with me um, of some kind. Usually if I'm working with horses, it's going to be my equestrian tool and my knife slip on my belt. KJ, um, don't you say that S word. And if I'm not working with horses that day, I've always got my GEC Urban Jack right here. Um, love, love, love that knife. Really dig it. Um, having a beard and having long hair. I really dig having that comb. I know that sounds stupid, but I love it. So, there's that. Is that your Urban Jack? Yeah. Yeah. Where did you finally find that at? After how long? In my bag. It was lost for about three months in my bag, in my work bag. He whined yeah. every day. I was I was very upset. As most of you know, GECs are hard to come by. So, <laughs> um, that was not easily obtained. Um, yeah, anyways, we're going to move on from that. Uh, (laughs) so uh, another thing that I want to tell you guys about that we've got coming up and uh, I might actually start filming this series today Um, it's going to be it's going to take a little bit of time um, but we're going to be doing um, and I've been putting it off putting it off because it's going to be difficult to do um, and to get all on on film but um, we're going to be doing a video on knife care and maintenance basically about rehabbing knives um, that have maybe been neglected or something like that. We I've have got, been putting that one off for a while. I've got some right here. Um, now, this one is uh, an old, and it's not really that old. It's about 10 years old, but it's the uh, CV blade steel on this uh, case pocket worn. This one's about 12 years old, actually. Show um, IG. So I'm going to show IG up close. You can see it, it's got some... Uh, it's got some pitting and some rust issues. Um, you can see it on the blades right there. So uh, the scooter's with us now. Shape, and it actually is sharpened up really sharp right now. I'm going to show that one up close to uh, Facebook and YouTube as well. Um, it's not showing up as bad on camera as it really is. Um, but this is one that we're going to be rehabbing. And we're also going to be rehabbing this Camp King right here. Um, from Imperial that I've got. It's an old one from my collection. Um, And if you can see down inside there, uh, this thing is really nasty. It's got a lot of dust and dirt and debris and grime in there. Has not been taken care of, but we're going to be rehabbing that one as well. So we're going to be talking about what needs to be done to get these blades back um, to good, back functioning again, and also back to looking like you want them to look. Uh, you know, a lot of us want our knives to look decent. And, you know, that's also part of it functioning well is, you know, once these things start to break down, once they start to rust and stuff like that, then the pivots don't work like they should. The back springs don't work like they should. Um, and they just don't function as well. So we're going to be rehabbing those on film, showing you what you can do um, to fix those because I know it can be kind of a daunting task. Mike, and, uh, surprisingly, Mike Curtis, uh-huh. he liked the case. Nice. And the camp, I don't doubt that at all. And yeah. Camp King was apparently his very first knife. Nice. Absolutely. And you might not have heard That's me, but Sobic Scooter's one. in-house, so S-O-B-X Scooter. Oh, yeah. Thank you, S-O-B-X. Yeah. Um, so that's some of the stuff that we've got coming up. Um, I also get asked a lot of questions about... Your uh, hair. No, not about my hair. I also get asked a lot of questions about... Um, what we use for uh, knife oil, something like that, or um, for blade coatings. Because, like I said before, oh, do you I, have your, I actually carry a lot of... Uh, do you have your beef fat? Will sharpening be part of the rehab? Yes, it will. And um, uh, so I'm going to go over not only... It's going to be multiple methods of sharpening. Now, me personally... Um, I prefer hand sharpening because that's what I have more experience with. Um, I don't do as well with uh, 
actual stand sharpeners. I'm not as good at stand sharpeners as I am at hand sharpening. Um, so, but we're going to be showing all the different methods and uh, the best ways to go about that. Um, Just so you know, YouTube has agreed with me on your hair, your flowing mane, the luscious locks. Jeez. Oh, oh, my gosh. Um, and KJ says, uh, Red, you need to use a Gerber Balasong for your uh, new uh, garden knife. But to, to keep going, um, we, get, we get asked a lot about um, knife oil and that kind of thing for not just for uh, lubrication, but for blade maintenance and uh, for blade coating as well. Um, Grom's one of the here. things that I use all the time, what's up, Grom Malatuck, is Coon Pee. Um, this stuff works great. <coughs> this stuff works phenomenally. Check it out. If you haven't had a chance to use it, check it out. This stuff is amazing. You can get it right here at smkw.com. Um, and it's on our website. And that's something that we always have. Check out the Coon P. It works really well. Um, case paste is good for rehabbing blades. We're going to be showing that a little bit in our rehab of those blades. Also, for blade coating, and uh, this is Red Out Hog B Fat. Um, and these are some of the guys that we, we talked to down at the Georgia Bushcraft event right there. And this stuff is phenomenal. So this is literally rendered pork fat right here. Do be careful in high context uh, bear areas. And um, what you do, and I've got I've got my LT Wright Genesis right here. Anthony Awakens did a great video on this on IG. Yeah. So um, this B fat is phenomenal for non stainless steel blade coating. Um, and ISK, you know we're going to put them out everywhere. We 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 put our content across everything. Absolutely. So this one's in A two, so it is it is not a stainless steel. KJ, um, KJ wants to know if it's uh, a chapstick for fat people. Basically, yeah. I think that's a great idea. And uh, so I'm just going to put a nice liberal coating on both sides of the blade here. And then I'm going to rub it in all over. And uh, that's going to be good to go. And outside of that, as long as I keep my blade nice and dry and don't put it away in the sheath with moisture on it, um, that's going to be good to go. I'm just going to make sure it's nice and evenly coated all the way across the blade, just like that right there. And that's going to be good to go. And that's how I'm going to store my knife in its sheath right there. And eventually over time, I found that what will happen is if you keep doing that over and over again, what's going to happen is that um, whatever you coat your blade in, whether it's oil, whether it's beef fat, that is actually going to coat the inside of the sheath as well. And eventually, it's actually going to keep it self-coated pretty well. And you'll have to do minimal, minimal work on that. And uh, that's going to be something that we get a little bit more into is, is our practices and how we maintain our blades and keep them nice and keep them up. Sue Chicken's in the house with us. What's up, Sue Chicken? And on a personal one from Red Eye Hog, catch. This stuff, too. Um, that, that, has become, that has become my go-to for popcorn. This right here. Uh, Greg loves it on his popcorn. I'm going to tell you what I love it on, and uh, you're going to be seeing uh, a video of us doing some some cooking, some camp cooking and stuff uh, very soon. C can can we can we get I, the recipe for the, the for the pork soup? I love this on ribs. I abs I will not put anything else on my ribs other than this red eyed hog original seasoning. Um, that stuff's amazing. Um, so, so, so you did not miss the part on the uh, double R, uh, the Rough Rider section of this thing. We actually had somebody earlier ask us when we're getting in the rest of the Cinnamon Bone Stag series. And the simple answer to that is, we don't know. We're waiting. We're waiting on those. We are waiting anxiously, anxiously as you are. Yep, absolutely. Did we just share a brain? Don't talk to me. All right. So, folks, uh, we've got to get back to work. We're going to wrap it up here. Thank you so much for joining us, folks. If you've got Before any questions. Before we go, questions, guys, no. make it quick. We are up to 59 on YouTube. We are hovering around 11. We were up to 25 on IG. People were having to work. Island Style has stuck with us this entire time. And I still say a uh, Uncrustable is a ravioli. Jeez. All right. Folks, we really appreciate you guys. You guys mean a lot to us. Um, and we're going to be continuing to give you these updates uh, at least bi-weekly, if not weekly. Thomas Hawk called um, us gentlemen. So, 
That is very nice. Very, very nice. wrong, but very nice. Um, so we're going to be giving you these updates. Stay tuned for more from Jack Wolf Knives. Those are coming very soon. Um, and oh, we just had we had the we got. just had the Heibel drop. Yes. Um, and like I said, we're going to be oh, pause. What's happening, Thunder Horse? There Blade. you go. Good to see you. Uh, we're actually just signing off, Thunder Horse. But good to see you. Uh, we're really excited. We just got actually your throwing knife back in stock from uh, K-Bar. They're K-Bar online right now. Knife. So they are up and online right now. Just got those back in stock. If you haven't checked out Thunder Horse Blades, check her stuff out. She's absolutely awesome. Um, and extremely talented, too. Extremely talented. So, um, folks, we're going to be signing off here. Uh, stay tuned for all of our content that we've got coming up. We want to thank you guys so much. Um, and if you have anything that you want to see more of, especially when it comes to our Blade Steel series, give us suggestions in the comments, all right? Send us messages. Let us know what you want to see and what you want to hear about, all right? Um, we're going to continue that Blade Steel series on giving you the history and the, the background bur- of the Burna Blade video Steel has become series. very popular again. Do we do we need to do a reshooting of the no, Burna? No, we are not going to shoot TC again. So, um, folks, thank you very much. We really appreciate it, and we will see you right here next time, uh, right here at SMKW.com, folks. Remember, if it cuts, we can't.